one of the focus that I will be pushing in Washington is trade and investment between the U.S. and Africa. And one of the instruments that is in place is the Africa Growth and Opportunities Agreement. So AGOA is one big element that gives Africa quota-free, duty-free access to the huge American market. It is not about Kenya alone, it's about the continent. And it speaks to the subject I already said, value addition, agro-processing, manufacturing. How do we make sure that this market that is available to us as a continent, we don't send their raw materials. We create jobs locally, we create value locally, and export finished products that way we get more value. So that is one aspect. But even as I speak to that, we also need to be organized. And this is a conversation also we intend to have internally as a continent. President Kagame did a wonderful job with the reform of the African Union. A job in the last summit of the AU he handed over to me. I intend to complete the job President Kagame started of reforming the African Union so that it is fit for purpose and it focuses on three critical things. Number one, it becomes a clearer, louder voice for our continent. Credible, speaking for 1.4 billion people. Clearer in the sense that we were initially a liberation movement. That's now behind us. All countries in the continent are liberated. We need to refocus Africa Union so that it does our economic diplomacy. Number one, trade, investment. Number two, it becomes our instrument for peace and security. This continent is ravaged by conflict. We have war this way, that way, the other way. We must be able to manage conflict, reduce war, so that we can focus this continent as a continent of investment. Nobody will invest in our continent if there is conflict everywhere. EU must have a bigger muscle to speak to that issue. And number three, to make sure that EU focuses on matters infrastructure. And when I say infrastructure, I am talking about physical infrastructure, roads, railways. I am talking about digital infrastructure, making sure that we leverage on technology to make sure that we unlock the potential of the continent. I am talking about infrastructure broadly. Those are, in my opinion, the three things we must do to get the EU being focused so that it speaks for 1.4 billion people, gets our market organized so that we can trade, we can engage with other entities, whether it's the US, whether it is China, whether it is Europe, whether it is India, at par. And this is one of the assignments that we as leaders in this continent have taken it upon ourselves that we are going to get organized so that we don't have a fragmented market. We have a voice that is loud, that is clear, that is focused around the AU.